Welcome back to my review of Final Fantasy VIII Part 4, and I know what you're thinking. You've been bitching about this game for a half hour, and you haven't even really touched on the main storyline yet. You haven't even started really playing the game. After all, the best part of this game is the storyline, isn't it? You can forgive a lot in a bad game if the storyline is good and the characters are involving. Well, we delay no longer. Those other parts were appetizers to the main course. Now we dive balls deep into the storyline. Let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. Now that I've passed the seed exam and killed the school's demon in the fire cave, the real exam begins. That's right, they're sending us off to war. But not before they assign you a partner, a guy disconcertingly named Zell Dinkt. Mr. Dinkt has issues. I just like the Mike Tyson tattoo. I will eat his heart. I will eat his children. The other guy? Well, Cypher. Or is it Cipher? You don't say Kiefer Sutherland, do you? Anyway, where is that guy? Yeah, I think Cipher might be evil. Anyway, he rolls with two people, Fujin and Ryan. Don't know which one is which, but one of them dresses like a waitress at a pirate-themed restaurant, and the other one wears baggy pants like MC Hammer. Oh, and uh, Headmaster Sid is Robin Williams in this game. That's right, you're going to a real battlefield. Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll! That reminds me, is it Seed or CD? Either way, lame, but it's always bugged me. Anyway, to the Zellmobile! Oh, come on, what the hell is that? You're telling me that's the official APC for Seed Special Forces? Ugh, this is really humiliating. Ever ready batteries to power. Four-cylinder engine to speed. I'll get drive through. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Zell, the most annoying dude in the game. And also, I hate to say this, more than a little gay. He really wants to see your gun blade badly, and he'll pester you about it for the entire trip. Uh, Squall doesn't really answer, seeing as how he's master of the ellipses. I don't really know where the gun blade is. Apparently Squall has infinitely deep pockets. Anyway, uh, Seifer is jealous of Zell's horrible aching man crush on you, and really knows how to push Zell's buttons. Oh yeah, I think Zell has ADHD. And check out this total verbal ownage, chicken wuss. Oh no, he didn't! You just got burned! That's your villain for this game, Seifer, the man with the insults of a seven-year-old. Yeah! Anyway, after the road trip, you all pile into an ocean transport to go to battle. Seifer tells you to go look outside, and I tell him to go fuck himself. Not that it really matters, because he just pulls rank on you and sends your ass out there anyway. But hey, anything to get me some alone time away from Zell and Seifer, okay? Ah, some peace and quiet at last. I'm king of the world! Woo! Oh, that's a big help. Thanks for that tactical plan, Patton. Oh, way to scrag the prop on the boat there, pal. I'll see you on the beach! Anyway, we're issued the vague direction of just wander aimlessly around the city and kill everyone in a different uniform than us, and that's your final exam. So, you know, you can imagine the fear it grips in everyone's hearts when you see this awesome force swarming up the beach at you. Anyway, check this out. This one guy attacks you. <laughs> check out the balls on this dude. He hides behind a fountain, sees you coming, and thinks, I can take these guys. One of them knows Jeet Kune Do. And then a giant snake attacks, and Seifer tells you to let him have the finishing blow because that gives him the XP. Fuck you, pal. How does this even begin to make sense in any real-world concept? Seifer is basically a kill-crazy bastard, so he runs off almost immediately so you don't hog his experience points. And then he starts getting a little weird. And he wants to tell you about his romantic dream. Uh, great. But it's okay, because you're issued a real powerhouse of a replacement. That's right, a schoolgirl in a miniskirt, armed with nunchucks! Hot. Mantis. 
свежее решение. Yeah, she's undeniably dressed for battle, isn't she? I just love how they send uh, people into combat with nunchuck swords and one guy who apparently just knows martial arts. At the top of the communications tower, you meet the eponymous Biggs and Wedge, and they're fixing a fuse box. I mean, I know how it is. I fucking hate Dish Network, too. Uh, but apparently, their master plan did not take into account the attack of Zell Dinkton Selfie. Oh, no. But they do their best amount of defense. Why does nobody in this game have a gun? Is, do these guys have some kind of sense of fair play? So it's a really boring battle, until, for no reason, some giant monster just swoops in and attacks. I have no idea what it is or where it comes from, but I do know that it breathes fire. It has the ass of a hornet, the wings of a bat, and the awesome chin of Jay Leno. Am I to believe some kind of huge hell spawn just nested in this tower until Biggs and Wedge kicked its hive over? Anyway, when you stab it, it explodes. Until Biggs and Wedge unleash their final revenge. You might have thought the demon was scary, but wait until you see... The Giant Mechanical Spider. And we've only got 30 minutes to get to the coast! The hottest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> yes. Do not mess with my girlfriend, bitch. Punch it, Chewy. So, um, did I win? I guess so, because you're all officially made seed soldiers. Zell is, well, he's ecstatic. Big news is the prompts tonight, so I better change into my pimp clothes. Oh, not my Captain EO costume, I said my prom clothes! Squall, being an unlikable bastard, promptly does what I do at every dance I've ever been to. Support the wall and hit the booze. Hard. And then Zell bothers you like that's the first thing I need. And of course, you blow him off, because you no longer have to associate with him. Wait a minute, who is that? She says, I'm the best looking guy here, baby, I know, but hey, flattery baby will get you everywhere. Did someone say dancing?
I'm, wait, 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 wait. I, I'm so not feeling this. I mean, this is a beautiful scene, right? This, this deserves a better song, a more fitting song. 